My girl and me know that our love will last forever. My girl and me know that we two belong together. But sometimes it seems I shatter our dreams with some careless word or foolish lie. TV. Hmm? Can I put the telly on? Certainly not. This is one of the few opportunities we have to talk to each other. <laughs> hey, Sam, do you know what the manufacturers are thinking of calling this new breakfast cereal? Hmm? Yuck! <laughs> that would be a good name for it, no? Look. Yum yum. Oh, double yum. <laughs> Isabel, have you tried this stuff yet? Oh, I, I did yesterday's laundry it. <laughs> It's not very good. You need at least four extra rinses to get the powder out. Isabel, it's a breakfast cereal. Oh, dear. Providing both inner and outer cleanliness. <laughs> oh, Isabel, did you wash that nice dark blue shirt of mine, you know, with the red wine stains on it? Oh, yes, Mr. Hart, they came out. Good, because I can't wait to wear it. You're wearing it? <laughs> oh, poo. Well, do I look that awful? No, I didn't hear you come in. I bought some new flowers. Oh, very nice. <laughs> Did you have a nice weekend? Liz, do you realise you've been asking me that first thing every Monday morning since you came to work here? Would you rather I asked you on Tuesdays? <laughs> That's 52 Mondays minus Easter Monday, uh, holidays, the odd sick day that uh, makes 36 times a year you ask me that same question. Now, you've been working with us for five years. So, so that, that makes 180 times. <laughs> well, you always reply, yes, thank you, Liz, is the coffee on? Well, is it? No, it is not. <laughs> <laughs> Must be Monday morning. You have a nice weekend. <laughs> I didn't. Jolly good. Is the coffee on? <laughs> Nell, I, I had a terrible weekend. Oh. Muriel isn't talking to me. Why not? I don't know. That's just it. Because she isn't... Uh... Not talking to you? Yeah. I've tried gestures. And? She doesn't respond. Not even with rude ones. <laughs> oh, dear. When did it start? Saturday morning. I took a cup of tea in bed. And I joined her. Oh, and we had yum yums. <laughs> <laughs> Which we both hated. <laughs> well, we won't go into that. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Simon Harris, residence, Isabel McCluskey speaking. Can I help you? That just cost the call of 50 pence already. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, I, I'm sorry. And whom shall I say is calling? Sean Langan. It's Sean Langan? Wow, he's the best looking, almost acne free boy at St. Joseph's. <laughs> oh, he's got watery blue eyes and he's got a big phone bill. <clears throat> Hello? Sorry, I didn't catch the name. <laughs> Sean? Do I know you? <laughs> St. Joseph's? Well, I know lots of boys at St. Joseph's. <laughs> really? Well, I dance with lots of boys. What do you look like? <laughs> oh, yes, I think I remember. Rather spotty. <laughs> I think so. Tonight? 
Well, it's rather short notice. I'll have to check my diary. Can I go and get it for you? <laughs> Isabel, A, I don't have a diary. B, I'm not doing anything for weeks. And C, even if I was, I'd drop everything to go out with Sean. <laughs> Hello, Stuart. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yes, I'm supposed to be going out with my grandmother tonight. Yeah, <laughs> I suppose it will be a bit dull. Well, why not? I mean, because I'm intrigued, because I haven't got a clue what you look like. <laughs> OK, then. 7.30. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, <laughs> the chippy or the greasy burger? Oh, no, Isabel. It'll be a restaurant. <gasps> Sean has style. And a couple of hundred luncheon vouchers. <laughs> <sighs> Derek. Derek. Why don't you buy another bottle of wine? Or better still, spend it on a facelift. <laughs> it must be something I said. Yes. Of course it, of course it could be something I didn't say. Yes, it could. Now, if or we could... maybe it's something I did. Yes, right. Now, if we or could possibly something I didn't do. Oh, well, I'm glad we've narrowed it down. <laughs> Muriel's not talking to you because of something you said or didn't say or something you've done or haven't done. Now, have you done? Yeah. Right. Now, of course, you could just have gone off me, on which I might have become dull and uninteresting. And repetitive. And repetitive. <laughs> <laughs> so, look, I know I lack confidence, don't, don't I? Derek, you're successful, you're my partner, you're my buddy, and you're drinking my wine. <laughs> now, if we can talk about this afternoon's meeting. Now, if we can land this account. Oh, we? Yes, you say we, but you're the one that'll handle the account. You'll get all the kudos while I'm left with num-nums all over my face. Yum nums You see, I can't even remember the rotten product's name because it is a rotten product. It is a rotten name, but it could make us rotten rich. And let me handle the deal. Uh, after all, I'm successful, I'm your partner, I'm your buddy, and I'm drinking your wine again. Else is out at lunch. Quite frankly, this is the best time for me to get the work done. <laughs> you could run this place in your sleep, Gran. <laughs> yes. Uh, your father's in the wine bar with Derek the Glum. Discussing yum yums. Probably animals. <laughs> <laughs> it's a breakfast cereal, Gran. What? Oh, yes. <laughs> so, what are you doing here then? Well, I was just passing, and I... Hi, Catrus. Oh, hello. Ah, yes, I will. Bye, dear. So, you were just passing? Yes, and I wondered how my dear grandmama was. Oh, how terribly, terribly touching. <laughs> That's all right. By the way, that was Isabel on the phone, letting you know that you'd left your umbrella in the taxi that you took from home to here. Ah. <laughs> you must have worried an awful lot how your dear grandmama was <laughs> to catch a cab all the way over here in order to be just passing. Ah. Uh. How much do you want and why? <laughs> oh, dear grandma, that obvious. Well, not as obvious as your father. He usually prefaces an awkward statement with, uh, Look, I feel like a drop of brandy. Can I get you one? Well, there's this really nice, charming, special boy who, well, quite frankly, is more sophisticated than the usual... Creeps? <laughs> ...who asked me out. So I thought I'd make a bit of an effort and get my hair done. Ah. And some clothes. <laughs> and I really can't expect him to pay for the whole evening. Uh, <laughs> he's not that sophisticated, then. Hi, Sam. Hi, Liz. Good. Come on, Sam. We'll go and get some coffee and have a chat. Do you have a nice lunch, Liz? I had a tiny baked potato. What, are you trying to lose weight? Not deliberately. You might say I'm on a salary-controlled diet. <laughs> oh, look, Samantha. 
A man doing Uncle Derek impersonations. <laughs> Sorry. Oughtn't you to be in a meeting with the man from Tum Tums? Uh, look, I, I feel like a drop of brandy. Can I get you one? <laughs> Haven't you done those yet? They've all got the wrong date on. Someone's been mucking about with the calendar. Elizabeth, no coffee and no calls. No, Mrs. Cresset. Um, Liz. No coffee and no calls. And no mercy, I imagine. Neither of three. No, I think this one is to the death. Uh, listen, Liz, you don't have to stand by the door. You're bound to hear it from there. <laughs> what kind of a nitwit are you to let that dum-dum negotiate for nyam-yams? <laughs> Or are you just going to stand remaining in the hall? Gavin! <laughs> Sit down. Look, Gavin, I suppose you're wondering why I suddenly asked you round here. No. Well, I'll tell you. You know Sean Langan? Yeah. Well, I want you to pretend to be him. What, now? No. When my grand gets here, I want my grand to think that you are him. Why? Well, because she won't let me go out with Sean tonight if she can't meet him here first. Oh, couldn't he make it, then? Of course he can make it. But if she met him, she wouldn't want me to go out with him. I mean, you know what he's like. He's rude, arrogant, flashy. And has all the girls after him. <laughs> so my gran wouldn't want me to go out with him. But your gran wouldn't mind if you went out with me. Right. Um, you're going to have to... We'll be a bit more decisive and strong. Listen, if I could be more decisive and strong, don't you think I'd go around being more decisive and strong? <laughs> You can act it, can't you? I mean, that's why I asked you. You always play the lead in St. Joseph's School plays. I mean, what was the last production? Romeo and Juliet. Brilliant. Just do Sean the way you did Romeo. I played Juliet. <laughs> I catches. Hello? I catches. Derek Yates. Hello. I'd recognise Muriel's silence anywhere. <laughs> Simon, you should have been there. That's what Nell said. <laughs> they knew more about eye-catchers than I did. No comment. <laughs> At the end of the meeting, I'd got them eating putty out of my hands. What on earth does that mean? They serve drinks. <laughs> Derek. Do we have the account? Do we have the account? <laughs> we have the account? Well, do we? Nearly. Oh. <laughs> I knew it. Derek, there is no such thing as nearly. I nearly said that. The managing director thinks that a happy family product like Yum Yum should be handled by a happy family promotions company. So he's invited you and me to have dinner with his wife this evening. And? And we have to bring our wives along, too. How do I look? Um, uh... That good, eh? Listen, please don't go gaga when my grand gets here. She'll think I'm going out with an idiot. You are. <laughs> Sean Langham. Please relax, Gavin. You know... Your gran came to our school once to complain about pupils fighting in the lunch hour. And? She hit the headmaster with a handbag. <laughs> oh, this is Isabel, the housekeeper. Uh, I'm late, Sam. I'm going out with Liz. Uh, Isabel, this is Sean. Oh, pleased to meet you, Sean. Mustache. Well, you fooled her. 
<laughs> well, I suppose we'd better get the num num man on the phone. And uh, you better get rid of these as well. Hey, don't flush them down the loo. Seems they have the opposite of the required effect. <laughs> Simon Harrop, this is your wife. <laughs> and this is mine. Hello <laughs> there. Derek. <clears throat> Get rid of those women. Why? They can pretend to be our wives while we have din-dins with yum-yums. <laughs> then we clinch the account and Bob's your uncle. Oh, you can hire Uncle Bob's as well, can you? <laughs> well, you don't fancy yours, do you? Well, we can swap. <laughs> Wife swapping, I've always... No, Jerry. <laughs> I've briefed them. Oh, I'm sure you have. Look, Simon, I got us into this mess. Let me be the one... To who... get us in any even further, yes. Joanna <laughs> uh, and Tracy. Thank you. Now, Simon, I have explained to these ladies what is required from them this evening, and I've given them and a few of more relevant and personal details of ours so that they can bring them up in conversation during dinner. After all, it is very important that we all know who we are, isn't it, Tracy? I'm Joanna. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you mind if I just give you a little test to find out what you know about who you are? Not at all. I was talking to the girls. <laughs> right. Um, who is Emma? I am. Emma is a 16-year-old schoolgirl. Of course, our daughter. You're married to me. <laughs> our daughter is called Nell, isn't she, Derek? <laughs> <laughs> it's bound to ask you where you're taking me. Uh, the Savoy? That's what I know. Tell her this wine bar in Covent Garden. She takes me there so she'll approve. Right. <gasps> She's coming. Oh, Gavin, please try and look interested in me. Uh, all right. <laughs> now you look like you're trying to hypnotise me. Hello, Samantha. Hello, Gran. Um, Sean is here already. Sean, this is my grandmother, Mrs. Cresset. Gran, Sean. How do you do? So this is the young man who set your heart in such a flutter. <laughs> well, I thought they were very nice. And they were booked till 11. Derek, what would have happened if in the middle of coffee and liqueurs the clock strikes 11 and Mrs. Harrop and Mrs. Yates turn into Janet and Stacy? Joanna and Tracy. Well, whatever their names are, they're bound to forget them. Well, I suppose I'd better go and see... Uh... The num-nums, man, yes. Oh, you like saying that, don't you? Well, it's preferable to eating it. <laughs> I'll have to tell him my wife's taken a vow of eternal silence. So will I. Oh, I'm sorry. So I'm right. sorry. So right. <laughs> what? We're from Rent-A-Wife. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Oh, well done. Son, yes, yeah, Simon. <laughs> Might just work. <laughs> Actually, yeah. I think it's better the other way round. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, right. Love. <laughs> Cheers. Well, we still got paid. I could have enjoyed being Mrs. Harrop for an evening. I thought you were Mrs. Yates. I was Mrs. Harrop. <laughs> you two sit here. I'll go and grab hold of a waiter. Believe me, she means grab. Why didn't you invite her? Well, she asked if she could come. You're not supposed to be here. I'm not supposed to be here. And now all three of us are here. Who am I married to again? Me! Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, Isabel. Husbands and wives aren't welded together. <laughs> we'll go to the ladies. Ha! Ah, Peter. Ah, Derek. And Simon. Hello there. Uh, one of our wives isn't feeling too good, so they've just gone to the loo. Ah, Joyce is in there. Maybe they'll introduce themselves. 
Whose wife's not well, then? Mine. Mine, mine is uh, not well, and his is looking after mine. Oh. Upset, num num. Tum tum. <laughs> so, what do you think of the family product? Well, Derek, how do you feel about it? Oh, my oh. God. Hmm? Another of my family products. My son, Sean. Uh, look. <laughs> To be honest with you, the lady I'm with isn't my wife. So if he spots me, do you think you could pretend that she was your secretary or something? <laughs> Just like his father's product. Tasteless and messy. <laughs> Hello? Hello. Could I, could I speak to Sean, please? What? He's gone out for the evening. Ah, here's Muriel. Oh, my God, where? Uh, Derek, introduce your wife to Peter. <laughs> Would you like to meet? How do you do? I'm Muriel Yates. She is. And uh, this is... Oh, Mrs. Harrop. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, oh, yes, and of course, my dear um, lady wife. Joyce. Joyce. We'll sit over there whilst our hobbies talk shop. <laughs> <laughs> what was Simon's daughter's name, then? <clears throat> Muriel, wasn't it? So who was the girl you were supposed to be going out with this evening? Uh, it wasn't a girl. It was a bloke called Sam. <laughs> Blessed with any tiny ones? Pardon? Children. Oh, uh, only the one, Samantha. And you? Oh, yes, just the one, Sean. So, tell me then, what did your wives think of mine yum-yums? Well, Derek's was speechless. So was Derek. So? Listen, you've got nothing to worry about your product. I put my shirt on it. This one, in fact. <laughs> More sham shams. <coughs> Cheers, Mrs. Yates. No, you're Mrs. Yates. To you, Sean. All the best, Mrs. Harrop, and to you, Mrs. Yates. Yeah, but I'm all the best. <sighs> to yum yums. To eye catchers. Too much. <laughs> <laughs> Would you care to propose a toast to someone, Sean? Sean. Uh, to Sean. <laughs> I don't know why we came to this place. Nothing ever happens here. <laughs> St. Joseph's. <laughs> really? Well, I dance with lots of boys. What do you look like? <laughs> oh, yes, I think I remember. Rather spotty. <laughs> so, tonight? Well, it's rather short notice. I'll have to check my diary. Can I go and get it for you? <laughs> <laughs> Isabel, A, I don't have a diary. B, I'm not doing anything for weeks. And see, even if I was, I'd drop everything to go out with Sean. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Stuart. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yes, I'm supposed to be going out with my grandmother tonight. Yeah, <laughs> I suppose it will be a bit dull. Well, why not? I mean, because I'm intrigued, because I haven't got a clue what you look like. <laughs> OK, then. 7.30. The chippy or the greasy burger? Oh, no, Isabel. It'll be a restaurant. Sean has style. And a couple of hundred luncheon vouchers. <laughs> Derek. Derek. Why don't you buy another bottle of wine? Or better still, spend it on a facelift. <laughs> it must be something I said. 
Yes. Of course it, of course it could be something I didn't say. Yes, it could. Now, if or we could... maybe it's something I did. Yes, right. Now, if we or could possibly something I didn't do. Oh, well, I'm glad we've narrowed it down. <laughs> Muriel's not talking to you because of something you said or didn't say or something you've done or haven't done. Now, have you done? Yeah. Right. Now, of course, you could just have gone off me. I mean, sh I might have become dull and uninteresting. And repetitive. And repetitive. <laughs> <laughs> so, look, I know I lack confidence, don't, don't I? Derek, you're successful, you're my partner, you're my buddy, and you're drinking my wine. <laughs> now, if we can talk about this afternoon's meeting. Now, if we can land this account. Oh, we yes, you say we, but you're the one that'll handle the account. You'll get all the kudos while I'm left with num-nums all over my face. Yum nums. See, I can't even remember the rotten product's name. Because it is a rotten product. It is a rotten name, but it could make us rotten rich. Then let me handle the deal. Uh, after all, I'm successful. I'm your partner, I'm your buddy. And I'm drinking your wine again. <laughs> darling. Is it? Well, everyone else is out at lunch. Quite frankly, this is the best time for me to get the work done. <laughs> you could run this place in your sleep, Gran. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, your father's in the wine bar with Derek the Glum. Discussing yum-yums. Probably animals. <laughs> <laughs> it's a breakfast cereal, Gran. What? Oh, yes. <laughs> so what are you doing here, then? Well, I was just passing, and I... Hi, Catchers. Oh, hello. Ah, yes, I will. Bye, dear. So, you were just passing. Yes, and I wondered how my dear grandmama was. Oh, how terribly, terribly touching. <laughs> That's all right. By the way, that was Isabel on the phone, letting you know that you'd left your umbrella in the taxi that you took from home to here. Ah. You must have worried an awful lot how your dear grandmama was <laughs> to catch a cab all the way over here in order to be just passing. Ah. Uh, how much do you want and why? <laughs> oh, dear grandma, that obvious. Well, not as obvious as your father. He usually prefaces an awkward statement with, uh, look, I feel like a drop of brandy. Can I get you one? Well, there's this really nice, charming, special boy who, well, quite frankly, is more sophisticated. Well, do I look that awful? <laughs> no, I didn't hear you come in. I bought some new flowers. Oh, very nice. <laughs> Did you have a nice weekend? Liz, do you realise you've been asking me that first thing every Monday morning since you came to work here? Would you rather I asked you on Tuesdays? <laughs> That's 52 Mondays minus Easter Monday, uh, holidays, the odd sick day that uh, makes 36 times a year you ask me that same question. Now, you've been working with us for five years. So, so that, that makes 180 times. <laughs> well, you always reply, Yes, thank you. Liz, is the coffee on? Well, is it? No, it is not. <laughs> <laughs> Must be Monday morning. You have a nice weekend. <laughs> no, I didn't. Jolly good. Is the coffee on? <laughs> Nell, I, I had a terrible weekend. Oh. Muriel isn't talking to me. Why not? I don't know, that's just it, because she isn't... Uh... Not talking to you? Yeah, I've tried gestures. And? She doesn't respond, not even with rude ones. <laughs> oh, dear. When did it start? Saturday morning. I took a cup of tea in bed, then I joined her. Oh, and we had yum-yums. <laughs> <laughs> Which we both hated. <laughs> well, we won't go into that. <laughs> Uh, 
Hello, Mr. Simon Harris, residence, Isabel McCluskey speaking. Can I help you? That just cost the call of 50 pence already. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, I, I'm sorry. And whom shall I say is calling? Sean Langan. It's Sean Langan? Wow, he's the best-looking, almost acne-free boy at St. Joseph's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got watery blue eyes and he's got a big phone bill. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello? Sorry, I didn't catch the name. <laughs> Sean? Do I know you? <laughs> St. Joseph's? Well, I'm educated in the usual... Creeps. <laughs> ...who asked me out. So I thought I'd make a bit of an effort and get my hair done. Ah. And some clothes? <laughs> and I really can't expect him to pay for the whole evening. Uh, <laughs> he's not that sophisticated, then. Hi, Sam. Hi, Liz. Good. Come on, Sam. We'll go and get some coffee and have a chat. Do you have a nice lunch, Liz? I had a tiny baked potato. What, are you trying to lose weight? Not deliberately. You might say I'm on a salary-controlled diet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, Samantha. A man doing Uncle Derek impersonations. <laughs> Sorry. Oughtn't you to be in a meeting with the man from Tum Tums? Uh, look, I, I feel like a drop of brandy. Can I get you one? <laughs> Haven't you done those yet? They've all got the wrong date on. Someone's been mucking about with the calendar. Elizabeth. No coffee and no calls. No, Mrs. Cresset. Um, Liz. No coffee and no calls. And no mercy, I imagine. Neither of three. No, I think this one is to the death. Uh, listen, Liz, you don't have to stand by the door. You're bound to hear it from there. <laughs> what kind of a nitwit are you to let that dum-dum negotiate for nyam-yams? <laughs> Or are we just going to stand remaining in the hall? Gavin! <laughs> Sit down. Look, Gavin, I suppose you're wondering why I suddenly asked you round here. No. Well, I'll tell you. You know Sean Langan? Yeah. Well, I want you to... My girl and me know that our love will last forever. My girl and me know that we do belong together. But sometimes it seems I shatter our dreams with some careless word of foolish lies. My girl, we've got each other Whatever life may send us Me and my girl, we've got each other TV. Hmm? Can I put the telly on? Certainly not. This is one of the few opportunities we have to talk to each other. <laughs> oh. Hey, Sam, do you know what the manufacturers are thinking of calling this new breakfast cereal? Hmm? Yuck! <laughs> that would be a good name for it, no? Look. Yum yum. Oh, double yum. <laughs> Isabel, have you tried this stuff yet? Oh, I, I did yesterday's laundry. <laughs> <laughs> It's not very good. You need at least four extra rinses to get the powder out. Isabel, it's a breakfast cereal. 
Oh, dear. Providing both inner and outer cleanliness. <laughs> oh, did you wash that nice dark blue shirt of mine, you know, with the red wine stains on it? Oh, yes, Mr. Hart, they came out. Good, because I can't wait to wear it. You're wearing it? 